Well, I'm joined here by Mrunalini Kunte and uh, she is the former national champion of India and a very well-known trainer. Mrunalini, how are you? Hi. Hi, Sagar. Hi, everyone. I'm fine. I came to PSPB and I met you here. I wanted to talk to you and get to know more about you because, uh, you know, I have known that you and Abhijit Kunte were like the golden siblings of Indian chess. Once upon a time in 96, you became the national champion. Would you say that what Prague and Vaishali are right now, maybe back in the day you and Abhijit were like that? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, quite similar. Like when I see uh, this uh, uh, brother sister, I always remember of me and Abhijit of our childhood. <laughs> right. So could you tell us how did it begin? Because I think you were the first one who took up chess. Yes, I took up chess and I used to play, I played one inter-school tournament and I met 4K sir over there and he said why don't you, because I was not knowing exact rules and everything about chess, I was just, I learned at home and I was playing on hobby level. And when he invited me to his academy or I would say a chess center or a class kind of it, he was to conduct the chess classes at his home. Uh, when I went there uh, first day, uh, like I did not know how to castle or some rules I was not very clear about. And the senior members uh, uh, who were the present there at the moment, they were laughing at me and all. So I was feeling very awkward. So next day I told my mom, I'm going to the chess class only if Abhijit is accompanying me. <laughs> and that's how Abhijit also started playing chess. Fantastic. And. Uh would you say this was in the early 90s or late 80s? Uh, it was around 84. 84. 84, summer. And then you started getting better over there. Yeah. And you, in 96, if I'm not mistaken, you became the national champion. Yes. So, 84, we started, both of us started playing chess. That time, I think there were very less girls used to play chess. Mm. And we had a state level tournament in 85, where I think I finished first or second. And I participated in the same year in nationals because it was in Sangli 85 nationals. And that was almost conducted after two or three years of a gap for girls. Okay. The girls, the sub junior. That time only sub junior and junior, only two groups were there for, uh, there were no various age groups. And I finished second in that nationals. And that was a great motivation for me to like uh, continue and pursue a chess as a career, like more than a hobby there. You know, uh, earlier, in women's chess, most of the champions came from Maharashtra. There were the Khadilkar sisters, there was Anupama Gokhale, then there was Bhagyashri Thipse. What was it about it and then you? Uh, I, I, I'm not very sure about it, but yeah, the Khadilkar sisters was a great motivation. Like I always used to hear uh, stories about the sisters, uh, the three sisters from my coach. Uh, he used to tell us a lot about uh, them. And I also saw Anupama and Bhagyashri, I like played uh, some nationals where they were participating. So of course all these players were a great motivation. But I think that time Tamil Nadu was also emerging. Mm. Like I know that time Sarita was a sub-junior champion for like, consecutive two years. When I was finishing second, she was a champion for mm. all those two or three years. So but Vijay Lakshmi and all came later. Yeah, they came later. And when was the time when Abhijit started getting better than you or was it like for a long time you were stronger than him? How was it? Uh, I guess up to 92, 93 I was better wow. than him. Uh, and 96 I completed my IWM title but by that time he was uh, quite stronger than me. And he passed me very quickly. It was just like, uh, he just surpassed me by 95, 96. But was it helpful that you both were playing chess? I mean, there is a ben benefit that the siblings are chess players, you can always discuss. But there's also an added pressure on the parents because they have to now uh, sort of sponsor two kids. Uh, yeah, that's that's always the, that. Uh, but. Uh, like when I used to play that time the nationals were uh, uh, like conducted at different places mm. like women's national will be different at a different place uh, boys will be at a different place so two parents have to travel right. it's not like uh, age group tournaments nowadays conducted at same place like same venue so that was quite a pressure for my parents also they were both were working so to take a leave and accompany us and not many people used to travel so it was not easy to send us along with somebody 
बट या दे डिड टेक लॉर्ड ऑफ दैट फाइनेंशियल बर्डन एंड प्रेशर वॉज ऑलवेज देर बट इट वॉज ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल बिकॉज समटाइम्स यू नो लाइक चेस बिकम्स वेरी मोनाटोनस और बोरिंग टू डू अ लोन सो वैन यू हैव अ कंपनी और वैन यू डू इन ग्रुप यू कैन गेट गुड आइडियाज एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव सम पार्ट to play with because okay. computers were not there at that time mm. so whatever you And practice, also online was not yeah, so yeah. prevalent i don't think computers were there till 2000 i like i bought my first computer in 2000 And so uh, you have to practice with human being only to discuss ideas with how will you know your your answers are correct or not right you will never know in fact when <laughs> you discuss with somebody correct so that that was very helpful so you you were the national champion did you play any olympiads for team uh, india i played 92 94 and 96 wow. three olympiads and how was the experience there uh, did you play with some top players of the world uh not actually but uh, 92 olympiad was my first olympiad it was in manila right yeah, it was in manila and to uh, get to see all these great players itself was uh, like uh, a great honor for me Uh, that time even vishwanathan anand was yes. the team india he was a captain of indian team so to interact with him was also uh, something uh, very great for all of us that time and to see like shiro played kaspro played that wow. olympiad so to see come across all these players was uh, kind of a great motivation mm-hmm. 92 olympiad 94 was uh, in moscow mm-hmm. uh, so i think that was uh, that time i was quite serious because i was a uh, first olympiad i was a reserve the fourth board so i could get some offs but 94 was i was in main team 96 i was a top board player though we didn't meet uh, any of the very strong teams but uh, I played very good players during those two, wow. those three or two or three Olympiads. Yes. Abhijit was also playing the Olympiad in. We 90- never played. You never did. T- he played in '98, perhaps, yeah, yeah. and so on. Then later on. We never played any world championship or any age group championship, any Asian, any world together. <laughs> so you were playing the Olympiad. Uh, what happened next like why were you not able to move towards the WGM title and you know get get further in your chess career? Uh, I guess uh, 90 after my olympiad I joined IDBI bank as a sports quota but somehow the sports was not they were quite supportive but since I was in Pune the Pune office was not so uh, what I guess encouraging for sports because it was a small office and then I had to work 9 to 6 6:30 sometimes 7 7:30 I still tried to continue, but after my marriage and my daughter was born, it was very difficult to give justice for everything. So, when did you begin your coaching? Uh, I roughly started in '96 when I was not employed, <laughs> like I did not have any job. But uh, like that, that was the age when I was a, I was already 23, and no job in hand or. Uh, like you don't have uh, any source of income so i was doing on a hobby level so i started 96 97 and in between i took off when i was uh, working then after i left idp in 2007 i again took up the chess uh, coaching as a serious career and now kunte chess academy is one of the biggest academies not just in say pune maharashtra but also in india i think you you have lot of students yes Uh, do you know roughly how many there would be there? see so far we must have been around more than 1000 students wow. on a hobby level but if you say a serious uh, level so maybe 100 200 players who are uh, achieved something right from a state level to uh, maybe a uh, level who have achieved us, who would have have some small achievements right but there are also titled players you have yeah. created uh, could you tell us a few of them Okay, like uh, many are trained by Abhijit, <laughs> so it's a very big list. But we also have uh, like Abhijit has trained uh, Isha was a part, Samia was a part of his team. Right, Vedit was also a mm. part of his team. Okay, I would miss so many more in that. I remember Amruta was yeah, also Amruta, there, Prathamesh. I mean, Prathamesh, even Isha, uh, Isha, Krutika were with me when it, I was doing a coaching in '96. They were very small kids that time. Eight years old and all, but they were playing very good at national levels. But in between, I took off. But then, the afterwards, they started doing preparing with Abhijit. Right after that, 
then abhishek is uh, abhishek kelkar who, who kelkar. is now an im but also works with you as yeah, a coach yeah, at kunte yes, academy he also works with us as a coach at kunte academy fantastic you know uh, when you call when you say like some cities in india which are the chess hubs we would say chennai but pune comes there because so many strong players have come from here in this city you have abhijit you have akshay raj kore you have many ims i'm sure i'm missing a few harshit raja abhimanyu uh, yeah, purani also part of yes. abhijit and abhijit exactly and abhishek's team. so yeah. so would you say what is the reason for this chess culture would you say that you and abhijit were the reasons that this began or even before you this existed uh n- not many were playing when we started we just had a group of of uh, four or five players who were playing from uh, pune that time but yeah abhijit's grandmaster was really encouraging for many uh, people to come up uh, chess and a uh, lot of people did take a serious interest to uh, take it as a pro- on a professional level right and uh, that has helped a lot yes but i think it's not just the players your father Yeah. who is so that, lovingly yeah, called was, kunte kaka yeah so that was a great initiative taken by my uh, father and also me and abhijit in 96 after i won olympiad we conducted some two a few tournaments for kids uh, so my parents used but like my father's used were that i had to take my kids all the way to other cities to play tournaments why don't we start some platform for kids in pune mm. so parents whatever they suffered to other are like other parents don't have to or they get their kids get a ready made uh, platform here in at local level in pune that's how it started with the budhiba krida trust uh, organizing very small tournaments local tournaments because that was a necessity that time and now you know like it has grown up uh, so big like they are uh, they are doing lot of events sponsoring events and sponsoring some players needy players as well. Yeah I know it's an unbelievable work because even at this age I I believe your dad must be 80 years old uh yeah he's 78 78 he still has that passion and energy to do tournaments he writes I see on WhatsApp there are these reports that he writes down where does that come from uh, it it was very great on his part to get converse you like with the computer yes. and uh, systems whatsapp okay he's not still on facebook but uh, Uh, like even he can do the pairings and all these things. Like he learned a lot of uh, computerized, like a uh, lot of things related to computer also. But he is very energetic when it comes to chess. Like he really loves to do something or other things for the chess always. Amazing! It's such a nice chess family. We know about your father. Could you tell us a bit about your mother? She is here. I saw her sitting inside the she venue. Is, I think I think she is the backbone of everything. so all the systems could run just because of her because a great job she always did was supporting all of us like especially when we are we are nervous the dad used to go get very angry when we used to lose and all and we also used to get upset but she was the one who always encouraged us uh, she was the one who encouraged me to leave a job and start this academy because it was not a, a very easy decision to leave a nice bank government job and start the academy but she was a great support that time also she helped me initially for academy the speed art trust helping tournaments when we never had a volunteer she was one of the volunteer to look after the things and now the main role of taking care of house and kids <laughs> that makes us free wow. to move around which she does very uh, fantastic so as you rightly said she is the backbone yes fantastic and uh, you know you have been following the chess journey of india since over 3 decades now how do you see it right now would you say this is like the golden era of chess in india i think we are on the very best and i think yeah you rightly said it's a golden era for a chess we see lot of grandmaster every day when you when you counting grandmaster you have another next coming up i remember 75th was i think uh, i was in august uh, hmm. Who was seventy? I think Pranav. Pranav, yeah. So you're talking about him. Pranav is seventy fifth. This is seventy five years of independence. Seventy fifth Grand Master. And by end of the year, we had seventy nine, right? Yes, and now we have eighty one. Eighty one. So this speed we having, we are having Grand Masters. 
बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ओलिम्पिया चेस हैज बिकम सो फेमस ऑल ओवर एंड आई थिंक एवरीबडी नोज नाउ प्रगा एंड निहाल सो एवरीबडी इन इंडिया नोज दे विल आस यू नो प्रगा यू नो निहाल हैव यू मेट देम लाइक दैट सो चेस हैज बिकम वेरी पॉप्युलर ऑल ओवर गुड स्पॉन्सरशिप गुड चेस फंड्स आर ऑल्सो कमिंग इन एंड आई थिंक लॉट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट्स हैव टू still take some further steps to sponsor the middle level players because top players i think top level players are being taken care of but little the second batch they need to be taken care of so, so as a trainer now if some parents come to you and say is there a career in chess would you say yes it's possible yeah yeah of course it's possible <laughs> many ways <laughs> Yes, not just a player. Yeah. You can also become a trainer, trainer organizer. Coach, even the arbiters, like uh, something like you making a videos <laughs> <laughs> and a and a media representative. So yeah, you have a lot to look after. I mean, uh, look after like in chess. Absolutely. Well, Mrunali, it was amazing getting to know you, your life, and it's so inspirational. Not just you, but your entire family have supported chess in general and have powered chess. Uh, it's phen phenomenal thank you so much thank you so much sagar